Good afternoon, everybody. It is Dr. K here from the Eye Institute. We are here again with Dr. Ryan Scarborough. And uh, yesterday, Ryan, I was telling you, I posted um, a picture on Facebook and Instagram of a, what they call a toric IOL or an astigmatism correcting uh, IOL that we put in to mm -hmm. correct patients' astigmatism during cataract surgery. And I think hands down, the patients with a higher amount of astigmatism, when we do that procedure and put in that type of lens, they're some of the happiest uh, patients uh, that I have uh, personally as a surgeon because the quality of vision improves. And so I thought today we'd talk a little bit about what astigmatism is and why it's important to uh, correct it or, or what it does for you when you do correct it at the time of cataract surgery or in glasses or contacts or what have you. Okay. And so I talked to you about that and then you had Oh, something, something in particular that you wanted to address. So we can start off with that. Since we have high production budget here, I'm using uh, a little uh, word there, astigmatism. Now, the reason I spell it out like that is everybody that comes in always thinks that's a really bad thing. Everybody pronounces it as, well, I have glasses, but I also have astigmatism too. And so... Uh, I think one thing is understanding where it came from. It's a mathematics term, and it comes from stigma, which we all think of a stigma as a bad word. So I, I don't know. I'm not an etymologist, or I don't know word origins, but we, stigma generally gets point, put as a bad word. Really, it comes from Greek in meaning a point. So a stigma was a stick got poked in, and you formed a point on the skin. Uh, it, from tradition tradition, we know that from Jesus Christ and the crucifixion. Anyway, uh, a stigma is a point, and what the word means is a means in, in uh, English means without, and stigma means with point, and so it means without a point, and, it, and regular correction corrects to one single point, what we call spherical correction. Right. So if you don't have astigmatism and you have spherical correction, it, it focuses the light. Yeah. to a dot, a point yeah. source of light, one which, dot. Which why those people without astigmatism, we can, contact lens fits are easier, con cataract surgery can be a little easier. It's more of a simple lens that we use. Anybody with astigmatism has a multiple points of, of focal, focus that go on when, when it hits the back of their eye. And so you ha we have to have a little bit more uh, of a unique correction or a sophisticated way to correct, it, correct that. And luckily we've had that for many, many years, hundreds of years now, although it's emerging more into surgery correction. But uh, we, again, then have to have kind of a multi-curved correction to get those multiple points corrected all back into the same place. Right. And so, again, when if you have astigmatism, don't, don't, put, don't think of it as a stigma. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It actually is. You just have something, it's a mathematics term from the 18th century that uh, you just don't have, your, your focal points aren't L at the same point. Luckily, we can correct that to where uh, it does correct all at the same point. Right. So astigmatism means that your eye doesn't focus light to a single point. And so we need to correct for that in a more specific way. Yeah. And so the analogy that I give patients when I'm in the exam room is a football and a basketball. So a basketball is a spherical shape. And so if your cornea, which is the first focusing point of the eye, yeah, that little, mm -hmm. this little plastic piece here, but this is your cornea. If your cornea is shaped more like a basketball, more spherical, and um, then that means that there is no astigmatism, okay? Wherever you grip that basketball, your hands are in the shame, same place. So the curvature of your yeah. hands, wherever you, no matter where on the basketball, it's the same. same curvature curve. is essentially the same. However, if you have astigmatism, then your cornea, this front part here, has a little bit of a football or an oval shape to it. It does not shape like a football, but it's got a little more of an oval shape to it. And, it. and what that means is that if the football is, let's say, standing vertically, there is a long surface or, or your cornea is long vertically, but it's actually shorter horizontally. And that is astigmatism. When one axis is of a different curvature, than another axis. And to put it another way, I brought the, the example here of a spoon. Now this is a good example, I think, because you can do it at home. So you can go grab a spoon, and if you look at the back of the spoon, and I can try and post some pictures of this, but if you look at the back of the spoon, the way the spoon is shaped, it's more football shaped. So it's long vertically, it's shorter 
horizontally. When you look at your reflection, my head is long, but it's much more narrow on the back of the spoon. Okay, that's astigmatism. I was looking for a, like a, a round soup spoon where it wouldn't have a long and a sure. short side. And sense. then the reflection, everything would be more equally proportioned. But when your eye has this sort of shape, that's astigmatism. And so then you need a special type of lens to correct it. Right, Ryan? So for glasses. Correct. So we, we, use we would just do the opposite. We correct for opposite curvatures in glasses or contact lens. Uh, you, it doesn't matter where you're correcting. Dr. Kachikian, when he does surgery with a toric lens, can actually put that prescription, that toric or uh, astigmatic. And we, we use the word toric. Uh, doctors might use that a lot of words. That uh, essentially is the same. It, a toric shape is an astigmatic shape. And so we call these lenses that we put in toric lenses. And so whether you're putting a glasses prescription in front of the eye or you're using an astigmatism correction in the lens that goes in your eye, you're getting that same effect. Right, and so you can correct your astigmatism with glasses. You can correct, you correct your astigmatism with, with contacts. You could do it with LASIK. Correct, or, yeah. Uh, if you're having refractive surgery, or we can do it when we do cataract surgery, um, and we put a new lens in. And, and the goal, though, is evening out those surfaces. No matter what we do, evening, either evening out the surfaces or evening out the light that comes into the eye, because a lens with this shape it, is not going to focus the light uh, in the same place. And so what you do then is you put a lens of the opposite shape in front of it or behind it to focus the, the portions of unfocused light. Yeah. And the thing about having it done during cataract surgery is that for many, many years, patients with high astigmatism haven't had it corrected or they've had it corrected in glasses. Okay, And this gets to kind of a, a next level thing here. When you correct your astigmatism, especially if it's a high amount of astigmatism with glasses, then you're putting a thick lens to correct the astigmatism in front of the eye. That focuses the light, but it doesn't focus it as well mm -mm. as if you were to wear a contact lens or if you were to put a lens inside the eye. And the reason for that has happens to do with, with what they call the nodal point of the eye, but the bottom line is the closer you can get the correction to inside the eye, the better the overall quality of vision. And so that's why the patients who have their astigmatism corrected, especially if it's high astigmatism at the time of cataract surgery, are some of the most happy patients yeah, because absolutely. they have never had that quality of correction before. Correct. I mean, astigmatism, the patients that have astigmatism, uh, farsighted patients generally have pretty good vision when they were kids. <laughs> And nearsighted patients can at least see up close. And so patients farsighted or just nearsighted come in and they'll say, well, I can't see in one point, but I can see here. So they have a way to see right. one of the distances at least pretty clear, and they get what clear vision is and blurry vision is. Unfortunately, astigmatism is, there's no distance where, if it's a significant amount of astigmatism, there's no distance where you see clear, whether it be near or distance. And so those right. people have never, it got to experience what clear vision is without a correction in front of their face. And to your point, if we can get that correction inside the eye or at the level of the eye, it's usually better than anything that would sit a little bit in front of that eye. And uh, it's a pretty neat experience to see those people come in yeah, and is, not have glasses and, and be able to see, I'd say they can see distance and, and it's uh, very clear. Neat, yeah. Yeah. Because the every, every, in general, patients who ha get glasses, have cataract surgery, whatever, they're happy. But th those astigmatism corrected patients are kind of next level because they, even if they just have a mild amount and it's never been corrected, it's like something new for them that they've never had before. Yeah. All right. Well, so that is astigmatism. That is kind of the, the definition in terms of not being able to focus uh, light to a point or to a, a stigma, as Ryan said. Uh, more, more practically, it's the shape of your cornea, at least we think of it most commonly as the shape of the cornea as having the astigmatism where it might be longer in one axis and shorter in the other. And then the goal of correcting the astigmatism is to correct one or both of those axes so that when they focus light, they focus the light to the exact same spot. Which is right on the back of the eye. Yeah, light focuses the here. So... 
Um, we don't want two points of light. We want one right in the middle of the back of the that, eye, which is achieved. Best yeah. quality. Absolutely. All right. Well, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, Ryan, thank you very much for helping me explain that. Good you to bet. see you. Thank you All much. Right. We'll see you next time. Bye now.